Hello everyone, it's Erica with Craftinated and today I'm going to be doing my October setup in my Archer and Olive A5 journal. I'm still in my mint gardener, I'll be in this until December and I have loved being in this journal. I do typically have the gold um, cover on it but I was drawing in it last night on my, like, I have this like laptop pillow thing <laughs> so I was doodling in it upstairs in my bedroom and like it kept getting stuck to it so I took it off but I will be putting it back on and that's why these are taped back here because I don't like how it like flops so that's why there's no closure right now is because I took my um, cover off but I'm gonna go ahead and do a real quick flip through of my September and um, then I'll come back and talk a little bit about my October And then that brings us to October. I'm still working on finishing up September. It's not quite the end of the month yet, so I will be finishing up those last few things. Also for my October, I'm going to be removing the um, meal plan only because we've been doing like Blue Apron and HelloFresh and those type of things. So it's just not practical to keep it in my journal um, at, at this time. You know, we'll do our meal planning um, probably elsewhere just because the list has just gone so much down because we now have enough for at least like three or four meals from those um, subscription boxes so I'm not really doing a grocery list per se so uh, I might come back to it but right now I'm going to uh, put it on hold because I ended up doing more um, hand lettering practice down in the bottom so I want to use my space wisely so I'm not going to continue that this month. So I'm um, going to be doing a, quite a few different things for this month. I'm not really 100% sure. Like I have tons of stuff on my desk behind here. I have stamps. I have paint. I have acrylographs. I have brush pens. I have microns. I have washi. I have stickers. I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. So <laughs> I'll probably just come back at the end and go through like the items I used um, once we get to that point. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to get October going and I I think it'll be a fun month so I'll put this to music and I'll come back at the end for a final flip through.
So that was the making of for my October and <laughs> this took me way longer than I thought it would. It was way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, the first thing I have here is my uh, month tracker. So my word of the month is harvest and I did another one of those pumpkins there. That was using the water-based paint and it was really difficult. I had some issues so we'll go to the month and I'll kind of explain what my issues were. So overall I'm very pleased with the way everything looks. Um, this is my October cover page but then when I shut it there was some transfer right here so I put some washi there to cover it up. Um, but I love the leaves. I think the pumpkin looks really cute. Uh, then I had issues with this page where I had done the paint up here and I was erasing the lines and I smudged the paint so bad so I had to put this piece of craft paper over it. However, I do think it looks really cute and I'm actually, I, I think I like it better than I did before so it was a happy accident. We have another pumpkin here. This is my bird's eye view of the month um, and I highlighted the weekends. I used the Calliographs, I think that's how you pronounce them, from Archer and Olive for that. And some of these stickers, like these ones here are from um, Paper Minty Studio and then these stamps, the stamps I used here and these stamps here are from uh, Stampin' Up. It's a Stampin' Up pack I have. Uh, then I used just some washi here and then um, some of those stickers from Paper Minty Studio and it says you will always harvest what you plant. The washi, I love this washi. Um, this is on my Amazon store. It is the Nade washi, and it comes, it, the one I got came with like I think 10 colors, and I really like the, um, the checkered one. So on this page, I used, um, the, again, the, ca the calliographs uh, for the, like, the back of the lettering, as well as the drop boxes. These stickers were from Paper Minty Studio, and this was from Stuck on Creations. I am a PR girl for Stuck on Creations, so you can use my code Erica10 and get 10% off. I will put uh, the link for her shop below. Um, but then here are my um, habits, water, eat well, activity, creativity, uh, YouTube, Instagram, journal, family, no spend. And then I had these as orange um, tabs to match the pumpkin. And then I started getting into it and I was like, ah, it's too orange and I can't deal with it. So I went over this with um, an acryl acrylograph from Archer and Olive. And this was the one, I don't remember the color, but it's in the new Pipas kit that came out. It was um, a limited edition. So th those are, I really like that like mauve color. So this is my week one. These stickers were from, uh, I think it's called Sticks with Kate. Let me look. So it's Stick with Kate. So this is from Stick with Kate, and she's actually on the design team. I love her stickers. Um, they're really cute, very pretty. This is, I just love this um, floral one. And then I have these ready for my weeks ahead. And then I have a line a day. And then I just use again the calliographs and my washi and some more of those stickers. This is a quote uh, from Anna Green Gables. I love Anna Green Gables. When I was younger, we actually went up, we had like an RV and we would do traveling and we went up through Maine into Canada to Prince Edward Island and it was amazing. <laughs> so I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers and then more of those stamps. And I just use my Tombos to color those in. And then on the back here, we have the monthly review, success, highlights, in a few words, lessons, needs work, and next month. So I'm really very pleased overall with how this came out. It was not without its <laughs> struggles this month. So it took me a lot longer than I anticipated. But um, overall, really happy. Love the fall vibe. I do love the way the pumpkin came out. I think I love this page the best. I know it's like the most minimal one I did, but it's just really inviting, I think, to journal in. Um, I am an affiliate with Archer and Olive, so you can use my affiliate code CRAFTINATED10, which will save you 10% on your purchase on either the books or the acrylographs. They're also going to be coming out with some more of the calliograph pens, which are like those dual dual tipped pens, but the other tip is another like smaller um, 
brush tip. So those will be coming out on Wednesday. And again, you can use my code crafting to 10 being an affiliate means I do earn commission when my link or code is used. And I will put my link down in the description below. So let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Um, let me know what your October theme was and let me know what you think about this. And as always, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here. If you hit that bell below, you will get notifications when I come out with new videos and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.